Hello, second grade. This is module one, lesson eight. And the objective today is I can take from 10 within 100. Okay, so this is going to look a lot like yesterday's math. So this is kind of a review right now. If I have 30 minus 7, I need to break up 30. I'm going to take out 10 and I have 20 left. My first math, um, my first number sentence rather, is going to be 10 minus 7. What is 10 minus 7? Did you say 3? If you did, excellent job. Now my next number sentence is going to be 20 plus 3 equals 23. So 30 minus 7 equals 23. Let's do this next one together. I'm going to break up the 40. So what am I going to break up the 40 with? I'm going to take 10 out and I'm going to have 30 left over. Now my next number sentence is I'm going to take this 10 and I'm going to take this 7. And 10 minus 7 is what? 3. Very good. Now, what's my next number sentence going to be? Do you remember where I'm going to pull what numbers from? Right, I'm going to take this 30, and I'm going to take this 3. And the answer, 30 plus 3, is what? 33, very good. So my answer to 40 minus 7 is 33. I want you to do this one on your own. Break up the 80. And then do the next number sentences. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Okay, so when you broke up the 80, did you break it up as 70 and 10? What did you write down as your first number sentence? Did you write 10 minus 8? What is 10 minus 8? 2, very good. Okay, so what was our next number sentence? Did you write down 70 plus 2? 70 plus 2 is 72. If this is what yours looks like so far, give yourself a kiss on the brain. So now we know 80 minus 8 is 72. Go ahead and do this one on your own also. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Okay, so you broke up 70 and you broke it up with 60 and 10. You took 10 out and you had 60 left. What was the first number sentence that you wrote down? Did you write down 10 minus 6 equals 4? Then you should have wrote 60 plus 4 equals, what's the answer? 64. Very good. So 70 minus 6 is 64. If this is what you're your board or your desk looks like. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Okay, so we're going to move on into a number sent or a word problem here. It says Jameer has 13 bouncy balls. He, gave, he gives eight of them to his friend Miguel. How many bouncy balls does Jameer have left? So what you need to ask yourself is, the first thing is, are you going to add or subtract to solve this word problem. Then you need to ask, what number sentence could you use to solve? Then you're going to think, what strategy could you use to solve it? All right, so let's bring up our sentence here, number sentence here. It says, Jameer has 13 bouncy balls. He gives eight of them to his friend Miguel. How many bouncy balls did Jameer have left? Did you say that you were going to subtract 13 minus 8? And did you get 5? How could we solve this? What strategy could we have used? We could have broken up this 13. We got 10 and then we have 3 left over. Our first number sentence would be 10 minus 8. What is 10 minus 8? 2. Very good. So what's our next number sentence? 3 
plus 2. What is 3 plus 2? 5. There we go, and there's our answer. 13 minus 8 equals 5. Okay, so here's our next number sentence. 23 minus 8. So what do we need to do first? We need to break up this 23. I'm going to take 10 out of it, and then I'm going to have 13 left. So my first number sentence is 10 minus 8. So I need to take this 10 right here and this 8 and make 10 minus 8. What is 10 minus 8? 2. Very good. Now my next number sentence is I'm going to take this 13, and I'm going to take this 2 that I just got, and I'm going to say 13 plus 2 equals what? 15. Very good. So 23 minus 8 equals 15. All right, here's your next one. 43 minus 8. I want you to go ahead and break up that 43 for me. Is this how you broke it up? Did you take 10 out and then you had 33 left over? If you did, very good job. Now go ahead and write down our first number sentence. I hope you wrote 10 minus 8. What is 10 minus 8? 2. Very good. Now go ahead and write down our next number sentence. Did you write down 33 plus 2? What is 33 plus 2? 35. Is the, if you got 35, give yourself a kiss on the brain because 43 minus 8 equals 35. Okay, here's your next one. 25 minus 7. Go ahead and do this all on your own. Push pause and then push play when you're done. All right, so you should have your answer now. And you should have gotten 10 and 15 when you broke up this 25. And your first number sentence was 10 minus 7. What did you write down for 10 minus 7? Did you write down 3? If you did, excellent job. Then your next number sentence is 15 plus 3. What did you write down for 15 plus 3? Did you write 18? If you did, good job, because 25 minus 7 equals 18. If this is what your board of your desk looks like, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Okay, here's your next one, 64 minus 9. Go ahead and solve this on your own, then push, pa push pause, and then push play when you're done. All right, let's check to see if you got the same answer as me. I broke up the 64. I took out 10, and I had 54 left over. So my first number sentence I put down is 10 minus 9 equals 1. Do you agree with me? Alrighty, let's move on. Our next number sentence is 54 plus 1. What is 54 plus 1? 55. So 64 plus 9 equals 55. Is this if this is what yours looks like, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Okay, so here's your application problem for today. Emma has 45 pencils. Eight pencils are sharpened. How many pencils are not sharpened? So remember, you're going to think, am I going to add or subtract here? And also, this is the application problem, so you can use whichever strategy you're most comfortable using to solve this. So go ahead and solve it. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Okay, so did you say you were going to subtract 45 minus 8? Did you get 37? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Okay, it's time for your exit ticket. You've got three questions here. You're going to erase your entire desk or your board, and you're going to answers, do answers for one, two, and three with the strategies that we just learned today. 
When you're done, take a picture and send it to your teacher. Good luck.